G'day everyone, Jason here. We've had our Tucana now for about five or six weeks, I reckon. Still figuring out where everything goes, uh, but we've made this trip out into the middle of nowhere. So look around behind us there. We're about halfway between Blackhall and uh, Jericho at the moment in central western Queensland uh, on a private property with permission. But anyway, before we came out for this trip, we brought three new things with us, uh, which have worked out to be pretty good so far. So let's go and have a look at those now. So when you're traveling in a teardrop and traveling, traveling light, uh, not only do you need a toilet, but you need somewhere to put the toilet. Now we've tried the pop-up style of tent in the past. Uh, they pop up really easily, but putting them down can be a real challenge if you've ever tried it. So we picked up this uh, thing from Coleman. It's called an easy up tent, I think. So rather than springing up pop-up style, it's got these arms here that um, you know you just kind of unclip and, and put up. And seriously, the thing went up in, oh, I don't know, a couple of minutes, it was pretty easy. Uh, as you can see, the weight, uh, the weight, the width is quite good. Uh, the height is quite good. It's got plenty of ventilation at the top there. It does come with a roof panel. We haven't put it on yet. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need to worry about it at the moment. The sky's looking pretty good. Uh, but inside, just open up here. <laughs> Do you mind? Probably should have checked that first. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> there's um, a hook up there for the shower, and that runs through some Velcro straps down there. Wasn't that section before just so ad libbed? Very believable. Some uh, panels up there and down there, and a cover here to uh, keep your towel and, and clean clothes dry and whatnot. So First time we've used this, we haven't had to put it down yet, but have used similar kind of tents in the past. Haven't been a drama, so I think that we are gonna be okay with this one. All right, on to the next one. All right, so the next, this next tip is specifically related to, you're getting ready, are you? Which one? <laughs> oh, geez. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, I'll get them ready. Right. Um, this one specifically relates to uh, newer Tucanas. So the gas plumbing here doesn't, you know, it used to be all hidden under there. Apparently now as part of the regulations, they need to have this separate thing with this bayonet fitting that goes into there. And therefore you can't close the lid without disconnecting the gas first. Bit of a pain at first look. Might have to cut a groove in there, I believe some other people have done the same thing. But here's the bonus. So you've got your web route here. We picked up this additional um, piece of pipe there with that bayonet fitting on there. So if you want to run your Weber outside, you don't need a second gas bottle. You don't need to worry about, you know, other pipes or plumbing, whatever else like that. You just plug it straight into there and Weber is good to go. All right, so that one was specifically for uh, Tucana owners. Uh, this next one is not. Let's get onto it. All right, so the other thing we've picked up, um, and these have proved really good, is these screens from, who'd they come for? Shady Gear, shadygear.com.au. So we've got two of them, um, really lightweight, like to fold them up and pack them up, they're very light. They're not, not a heavy canvasy style screen. Um, super lightweight, so that, that's the, the thing I liked about them as well. Um, and as we move around here, you can see we've got that one reflecting the sun quite well. The sun's over my shoulder. Can't really see through it at all, but it is letting a little bit of wind through. And there's some... <laughs> no, we couldn't see you. <laughs> and there is some um, uh, gaps there to let the breeze through as well. Now what I've done here is I've just picked these to the, the floor and they come out at an angle like that. Now, at the top here, Velcro strap, so they just Velcro to the underside of that. But uh, when we order them, we mentioned that it, uh, it was for a Tucana, and um, the lady who owns the biz uh, knew exactly what we needed, which was this little extra uh, Velcro strip here, which then runs into that channel. So you don't, with these um, awnings on the Tucanas, you don't have a, a Velcro strip out here, you've got this channel. So that Velcro to that, and you run through the channel, and happy days, good as gold. All right, so that's the three things we've picked up from this trip. Um, some pretty handy acquisitions, but 
I'm sure there's gonna be other things that come along the line. Keep an eye on the channel, and as we find some new stuff, we'll post about that too. Righto, thanks, we'll see you later.